Hi and welcome to episode 4 of our multiplayer chat series. Uh, this is going to be a quick episode. Um, first, I'm sorry that I haven't posted any episodes recently. I just had a lot of you know, holiday time off um, with Christmas and then New Year's. But uh, as of today, I'm back into it. So in our last episode, we connected the game state to the player controller to pass around the persistent messages to the HUD. Um, in episode 3, in the last episode at the end, I did say that in this episode, episode 4, I will work on the ability so the trade and local chat has different conversations taking place based on your location in the map. Um, I decided that before we go that route and we start on that, I realized that we need I needed to fix some design issues with uh, the, the existing code I've got. So in this episode we will fix um, some design issues uh, to reduce uh, duplicated code. And then in our next episode, episode 5, um, we will actually implement regional chat. Um, so let's get to it. Uh, I will try and keep this episode below 20 minutes. I don't think we will even get near that. So here's what I wanted to change. Or here's what we are going to change. <clears throat> we have the channel listener structure and we have the S channel structure. Pretty much the same exact this one contains the channel and this one contains the uh, array of player controllers that are listening for this channel to update. Same thing here we have a channel and then an array of messages. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do away with this S channel listeners and I'm going to move the player controllers array into the channel structure itself. I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place I just didn't think about it and when I was playing around with actually implementing the regional chat I realized that we would have to do a lot of repeating of ourselves and duplicating you know so anyways let's uh, jump into it so to start off go ahead and uh, open up the game state okay let's open these up I don't believe okay so let's open up S channel the structure and add a new player controllers property of type our player uh, controller actually you can either do your custom player controller or you can just do the base player controller class and make it an array save that and go back to game state let's see so let's go into add channel message right here and we'll uh, just follow the the call chain so an add channel message let's see we want to set the message um, I'm just uh, looking at my notes and making sure everything looks good I think we do have to change. Uh, go ahead and uncheck player controllers. We don't need to get access to that here. Um, same here. And uh, click on Make S Channel. Open up the pin options over here in the right, and uncheck player controllers. I think this method is all right. Um, oh, uh, and click on Notify Channel Updated and you're going to change the type of the channel from the enum channel to the s channel structure just like that and then go ahead and delete the channel get right here and then grab uh, the local variable channel and set it right there and this variable is uh, right here it's uh, we we find the message channel and then we set a local variable to the message channel that we found and then let's see so okay yep everything else looks you know what uh, channel get that set that and let's do this okay so that way <clears throat> when we do add a new um, channel structure 
we won't pass none <clears throat> we won't pass none to notify channel updated okay compile and save let's open up notify channel updated so in here we are going to have a fair amount of code change not a whole lot but we'll have quite a bit so let's break our structure and out of this we actually will use all of these properties so connect the channel to the set channel node and then get rid of is channel listener created get rid of that and then we need to set the message node which is already created and it's a local variable set it like that and then drag off player controllers and bring it way over here and connect it to the for each loop delete the break channel listeners and delete this and delete the branch you can delete those and then move this way over here Okay, so let's just uh, double check. That looks good. So this pretty much stayed the same. We iterate each player controller, cast it, and if it succeeds, then for this channel, we pass in the messages which we set here. Compile and save. Go back to add channel message. Looks good here. Let's open up find a message channel. Let me get to my notes. Okay, so everything here looks good. Let's open up is message channel created and verify everything. Still good in here, I believe it is. Uh, we can go ahead and remove the player controllers from the break. We don't need it. Um, okay, that does look good. So let's close that. You can close that. Okay. So open up add channel listener. And I know this one will definitely be changed. So what we want to delete this and that and we want to drag in find message channel connect the channel there and just uh, connect these boolean up right there set the channel index and then we need a new variable called message channel and set the type to our S channel structure type and set it. Okay. And that's looking pretty good. Okay, so instead of making and breaking the S channel listener, we actually need to make and break a new S channel structure. So we'll get that, break that, delete these, and we just need the player controllers property. So uncheck the others, bring it up here, and connect that up. Okay, and this should, I believe, will stay the same except for this. So grab the message channel and call set members in S channel and we are setting player controllers connect that up just like that and we won't uh, we need to add it to the channel messages array so connect that up like that connect that up okay Let's move down here. So we'll rename this add player to existing channel. And we will update this and say channel doesn't exist created. 
So let's make an S channel. Connect the channel and the player controllers array. And we will not need to create a message array. Um, and then let's connect this up. Oh, sorry. Uh, we need to drag off channel messages array and add to that array. Just like that. Okay. All right. Message channel, channel messages. Okay, so now channel listener should not be used. It is not, so let's go ahead and delete that unused variable. And all of these other variables should be used. Okay, so now if I look for usages of add channel listener, I should not, well, actually, I will find it because we're still using that. But if I look for usages for is channel listener created, there should not be any. And it's just the definition. So let's go ahead and create a uh, delete that function. And same thing for the channel listeners array. Not found. Let's go ahead and delete that. Compile save. Open up git chat channel messages. And uncheck player controllers here. Compile save. Close that and that. So let's go back to our map, go back to the content browser, right click the channel listener structure and reference viewer. And we don't have anything referencing this structure, otherwise we would see some nodes over here on the left. So it is safe to delete that structure. So right click, delete. And this is uh, a warning that's saying some of the assets are being deleted. They're still referenced in memory. So this, we can force delete it, but it means that we, uh, the undo history will be cleared. That's fine. Um, for this case, that's fine. So now, if I uh, just open up um, game state, make sure it's compiled and saved. Uh, let's set that, and let's go ahead and play. And now, everything should still work the way it should work. We shouldn't have any kind of regression bug, so let's just test. Okay. Okay, everything still works. We don't have any regression bugs. And that's it for this episode. We were just cleaning that up and getting rid of that unnecessary structure. And in our next episode, in episode 5, we will start on the map regions <clears throat> and we'll get, um, we'll make it so you have to be in the same region as someone else in order to use the trade in the local chat. So, thanks for tuning in and until next time, bye.